Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jason Coaches. I'm going to be inking Rumiko Takahashi, a uh, page that she did today. Uh, this is part two. I did part one uh, a little while ago. I really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, just uh, from my last one, I realized that um, I enjoyed inking with a, a, a regular paintbrush rather than like the G-Pen or any of the other... Um, kind of pens that I had and uh, instruments, tools. But um, yeah, so this video, um, I've got a page that um, Rumiko had done for one of her uh, mangas and um, it's all blue penciled. You can see it's all, you know, even the text is in there, dialogue and everything. So um, I decided, why don't I just try to do the entire page since, you know, I ultimately want to, um, you know, start inking my manga as well. And I thought this would be really good practice to um, see if I can do it with a brush, you know, a little more professional way of doing it. And um, yeah, so I, um, for some reason, I just started inking on the right side of the page here. Um, you can see I'm almost done with the one figure. So now I'm starting on the left side, um, which probably would have been a better way if I had started on the left and then moved across the page so my hand wouldn't go across um, something I'd already inked but thankfully the ink was uh, drying pretty quickly so I didn't have any issues here but um, yeah this panel has uh, two characters and this one was a little bit difficult um, for me because the characters were so were a lot smaller in this panel so um, definitely a little bit more challenging but I think it uh, it came out pretty well. I mean, this, the minor details of the eyes were definitely difficult to do. Um, and for the hair, I'm just gonna come back in later and fill that in with uh, another paintbrush. Hopefully you're enjoying the video series I've been doing here. Um, I appreciate you watching and supporting me. a little bit more zoomed out view here and then a little close up but um yeah i picked this particular page because of the the interaction between the characters and um my comic is going to have uh, a lot of characters in it as well so just wanted to get you know again used to using the paintbrush to um to ink in this particular style um her breakdowns here were, were really pretty good, but also fairly loose at the same time. So I'm just sort of trying to honor what I can see um, and, you know, add my own little style, flair, whatever you want to call it to it. Um, really like this uh, second panel here, um, the close up of the one character's face. Um, goofed up a little bit on the one line on the on his uh his right eye but uh, I can go I want to fix that a little bit later in the video when I get out some white um ink and go over top of it and that was the one thing during this process that um I learned I, I think it was I was watching I think it was how to draw the Marvel way and I think it's John Buscema had said whoever it was in the video um can't remember the artist's name exactly, but um, he said, you know, if you ink something wrong, don't worry about it. Just white it out and, you know, go back and fix it and, you know, just keep going. So in this process, that's definitely something that kept me able to keep going and, you know, sort of enjoy, enjoy what I was doing here. definitely enjoyed this um, oh there's a little bit of a, a time jump here I, something happened with the video so I, I lost um, the beginning of this particular panel here um, but yeah I definitely enjoyed this page it's, it's like a classic classic style of what I think of when I think of uh, Rumiko Takahashi um, that's really that uh, 80s um, style, you know, the Ranma 
one half style here. Um, actually, these characters, one character looks like a mix between Ranma and, and Ryoga to me, but. Um, oh, and on this, this page, I actually started inking in the, um, the speech balloons and the thought balloons. Definitely different than you know some of the the other video I had done and some of the other um, practice inks that I have been doing. But again, uh, a lot of this this page that I, I really liked was it was it was fairly loose. Um, you can see the one uh, female character I'm, I'm working on now is she's in there, but it's it's pretty rough. So this this actual character gave me a little bit of trouble. I tried to follow what, what I had seen, but um, it's almost like the angle I just wasn't wasn't um, sure about, and the eyes were very small, so I had to I had some trouble with that as well. But hopefully, you know, I think it turned out well. I, I did some adjustments. Um, Probably show that later on in the video here. But, uh, again, putting in the uh, speech balloons. I go back and do the other the thought bubbles here as well. I was tempted to put in the the dialogue as well, but it, again, I don't know uh, the characters. So I didn't want to be inking something in, incorrectly, <laughs> you know, trying to, to letter in a language I don't know. So, uh, and here's where I was saying I, I adjusted the neck on that one character. Uh, just putting in some, you know, some areas around the. Uh, the hair. This uh, this panel was actually pretty fun. Um, I like the expression. Classic. You know, reminds me definitely of Ranma. Any of the characters. Just that style. How big the eyes are and the, the way the eyes are closed. Um, I put in the balloons just because uh, it was going to go over the character, so that's why I did that instead of continuing with the, the face. The brush I was using wasn't, wasn't the greatest. Um, it's one of the only ones that I have, or one of the better ones I have. So um, definitely was feeling a little bit frustrated with how it was going so far. But um, and actually on this panel, you can see um, I've got that blue paintbrush. It looks, it looks similar to the one I was using, but it's actually brand new. Took a little break and went to um, the art store and, and got a couple new brushes, and this was one of them. And wow, what a, what a difference. This is a Winsor Newton um, that I got at the store. And um, yeah, it felt like the line had better control of the lines. Um, the lines were not, um, I didn't have to ink, I didn't have to dip them in quite as often and um, I was able to keep a line that was more consistent and um, less dry brush looking. Um, this particular character pose that I'm working on right now, I really liked how that, how that one turned out. Again, just classic looking um, pose to me. Um, I think I had to end up putting a lot of the shoulder and, you know, profile sort of details in there because it wasn't Adjustments here. Uh, 
think I'm gonna next I'm gonna go ahead and oh okay yeah so I had some of the brush was a little bit um, some of the points were not as sharp as I wanted them to be so I'm going it back in with the Tombow brush here and um, just making some minor minor adjustments um, little fixes little tweaks to make it look better um, to me Still just some more tweaks, and now I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of the the hair, um, the black ink in the hairs. Again, sort of a slow process, but um, definitely worth doing with the uh, paintbrush. It's a lot quicker than using a Tombow brush or just a you know Sharpie or whatever. Especially this this particular area of the hair, just this big old chunk of uh, hair. Um, that that particular panel, I definitely had to sort of, you know, make it up. Um, you know, all all that was really there was just the the, um, the profile of the face. So I had to do the rest there. Oh, and you can see in that. Got the little cap from where the um, where I'm taking the ink from. It's just the cap, and now I've actually got the bottle of the ink. I'm um, dipping the brush into it. Obviously, sped the video up. Um, but I didn't mention that before. Otherwise, uh, I think this this particular page took about three hours, start to finish. So that'd be a very long video. And now I'm actually going to add in some with some white ink, um, just fixing some other little areas that I wasn't happy with where the brush may have done some stuff I wasn't happy with. Yeah, I just might have uh, put an extra mark in there and I wasn't pleased. Um, and actually right here I'm, I'm trying to fix that one character's, um, her profile and her hair. I made the hair a little bit smaller and her neck a little bit thinner, um, but just having to hit um, those areas a couple times just to get the the white to cover the the black ink that I had done now put down before and then the little I've added in the whites in the, on the eyes there. Um, all in all, though, it's a fun fun experiment. Um, and that one character out there on the left, I put his uh, sort of like either eyelash or eyebrow um, just in the hair. I thought that was pretty cool. It actually came out. I only had to go over it with the ink a couple times. So again, just some more little tweaks here. I think I'm back in with the black. May have been some areas that just didn't get full coverage. Yeah, and then just sort of adding a little bit more in around some of the areas that I cleaned up with the white. But uh, yeah. Once I'm finished with this, I will show you um, the original blue um, page and then my inked version side by side. And here we go. On the left is the original um, pencils that I had found online. And on the right side is my version that I inked in. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please remember to follow me on Patreon. And thanks for watching the video.